afternoon and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Mark and I'm going to take you for a walk around our 2010 Mitsubishi Triton GLX utility this afternoon. As you can see when we start off at the front of the car, uh, they have added the additional driving lights there at the front. We've got all of our chrome garnish running through with the uh, Mitsubishi emblem in the middle there and no really discernible scratches or touch-ups that I can see anywhere. A little bit of dirt here and there, but that's okay. Being the GLX, it just has the factory steel wheels. You look at the tires, there is a stack of tread on those tires. Um, you've got your Triton 4x4 badging on your driver's door there as well. A couple of minor little blemishes just on the edge of the door, probably from jewelry or something, um, but uh, very minor anyway. Uh, it does have the Rhino rack uh, fitted there at the front of the car. And uh, just once again, a little minor, it probably feels like dirt actually, dirt or glue, which will come off anyway. Um, uh, same with the rear tyres, plenty of tread on those as well. Um, and overall, actually this car did have some sign writing on it at some stage now that I'm up close to the car. So our detailers will certainly enjoy removing all of the uh, residual glue from it with a, a good quality polish. Um, we've got our protection bars there at the back. You've also got your uh, tow bar, which gives us the, the ability to tow 2.4 tonne in this model. And then just a minor little dip just there on the tailgate. Obviously consistent with the age of the car. Ripple finish ARB canopy as well, which we'll have a look at shortly. And as we come down the passenger side of the car, uh, once again, the only real, the only thing I can really see is just that we need to give it a good polish, um, just where the previous sign writing was. Side steps, of course, being the GLX, um, and uh, overall, I mean, apart from uh, you know a little bit of cosmetic uh, tidying up, uh, which one of my gun detailers will take care of, uh, it presents really, really well for a 2010 model. Around at the front of the car now, we'll just have a little bit of a chat about uh, the uh, drive line. And uh, Mark, you, you, you know, you've only opened a bonnet on a Triton two million times and now you're having trouble finding the release, but that's okay. So this particular model, uh, they did move to the direct injection diesel, common rail diesel, 2.5 litre motor. So it gave you 131 kilowatts of power and 350 newton metres of torque, but still returned 9.3 litres combined per 100 k. So 75 litre fuel tank in these. So a full tank of diesel is going to get you around 920 kilometres to a full tank. Around, back around to the rear of the car now, so the ripple finish ARB canopy, I like those canopies because all of the windows are hinged, so your access into the back of the car is a lot easier than the models that had the sliding windows. As you can see, it's all set up with a shelf here on top and then that additional cage just to protect the rear window. And when we pop the tailgate down, you also see we've got the, all of the drawer set up as well. Just hold, hold on our handle here to release it and you can bring them out all the way. As soon as you let go of that handle, it'll lock it into position as well. So flexibility from a tradesman point of view or, or you know, a chippy even, um, you know all your gears secured and you can set it up so that it's not rolling around inside the car as well, which is uh, a really good setup actually. Um, just to slide it back in, just hold onto that handle again release it all the way back inside the car and you're good to go and as you can see locked in position so nothing's going to move around at all inside the triton now we'll just run through all of the uh, condition of the interior all of our power window switches on the driver's armrest power window switches up the front there with automatic stability control button there we've got our uh, switches for our driving lights here as well and then our steering wheel is adjustable in height uh, once Mark releases the actual handle or the lever allows us to adjust the height of the steering wheel to where we're comfortable. On our leather wrapped steering wheel we've got our cruise control buttons there as well and then we move into the centre section and here's our, uh, it's called what's called a double din head unit so we've got our AM FM stereo with CD player, MP3 compatible and then we've got our auxiliary and USB inputs there as well. Bluetooth incorporated in the head unit as well. All of our heating and cooling controls in the centre here as well. Um, you've got your hazard light button there, but you won't have to worry about that because Tritons don't break down. A uh, little storage compartment there and a 12 volt outlet down the bottom there as well. Sorry about headbutting the camera there, but that's okay. Uh, just an auto transmission and as you can see by the lever on our right hand side, it is a 4x4. 
um, so certainly go anywhere that you need it to. Handbrake directly behind the four wheel drive lever and cup holders in the centre. Good storage compartment in there as well, fairly roomy and there is also a little coin tray there on top as well. Now considering it's only done 88,000 k, so great k's for its age this car and it's evidenced by the quality of the interior. You look at the condition of the, the cloth seats, both front and rear, uh, and even the condition of the carpets for that matter, uh, you certainly know that it's been well maintained and that's something that we're going to have a look at now and uh, this will tell us exactly uh, exactly why it uh, was a, a company car as well, which obviously explains that there was a bit of badging um, around, around the car, or a bit of you know, stickers for that matter. Um, 15,000, 48,000, 55, 74 and 88. So your servicing um, is quite good as well. So, and evidenced by the exterior and the interior of the car to be quite honest. Hope this has given you a really good idea of the quality of our 2010 Mitsubishi Triton GLX Ute. Got the driving lights at the front as we mentioned, good service history. You've got that whole toolbox set up in the back uh, with the ARB canopy as well. So from a tradesman's point of view, this car is ready to go. Give us a call on 9907 and don't forget to ask us because it's out of new car warranty about the fact that you can take, a, take advantage of a five year premium mechanical protection plan as well.